I'm back, and this is part two of making a reversible disc template. So, last video in part one, you may have saw that there were a few of these things right inside of here. That was from a bit of a big mess up that I had on my part that I edited out of a big chunk of the video, of the original video, so, uh, I'm gonna try it again. Let's do that. So, I'm gonna move this a little to the side, and then just go home and into this the best I can. As I decided to move it out of the way, it's not properly, but, okay, there we go. Alright. Move a little more out of the way. Thank you. You can move to the center. And then we're going to take this piece, turn it 90 degrees, level it with the ground, and then drop it down so that it is properly leveled with with this ring. So I'm going to bring that down. Let's make it about five. That seems good. And since it's an odd number, I have to do that. Up next, do this. Um, let's actually widen it a little bit. Seven. Nine, nine, thank you. And uh, five. Okay, yeah, I like that. So I am going to duplicate, turn that 180, and move it to the other side. There we go, that is perfectly aligned. A little check we can do is by clicking the other piece and seeing if it centers out in that little cross right there and the crosshairs right here, and it does. So what we do next is duplicate the two parts and then turn 90 degrees, and there we go. The next thing that we're going to do is drop this down, let's make it about 3, 2.5? Yeah, 2.5 millimeters should do. Yeah, that's good. After that, we're going to duplicate that, move it over here, and we're actually going to group them and make them hollow. And then ignore those. After that, we're going to bring, go back to these and group it with the main disk template so that it permanent, so that it fuses with it. But I want to try and keep the color of it. So you're going to want to touch the template first. There we go, that's better. Now moving on to here. So what we're going to do is increase the size. So what we're actually going to do is... So the next thing that we're doing is I'm going to ungroup these. And I'm going to hide this so it's out of my way. Next, what we're going to do is increase the size of these by 0.5 millimeters. So the thing is set to, so SnapGrid is set to 0.5, which is good. So let's just work with that. So just 0.5 millimeters in three directions, top, left, and right. There you go. The rest of these, you just want to delete. Unless you want to do the extra work, then uh, 
have fun with that. Now we're going to unhide this. Uh oh. This is a problem. So in an event like this, what you're going to want to do is redo everything. No, I'm just kidding. You're going to just want to have to increase the size of this. Let's just do that. 51. If I can get it. There we go. How's that fit? That looks nice. How's it look inside? Uh, that comes very close to the end, but it doesn't completely go through. There's still enough. So we're safe with that. So we're going to have to do that in both directions, though. So 52. And does that still look safe? Yeah, it does. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have to increase the wall thickness of this. So let's make it 1.8. Uh, we can go more to, that's nice, I like that. Next we are going to duplicate, 180 and drop, or slide, whatever you want to call it. Here we go, and uh, click on them both to make sure you got on a cross. Yep, right on the solid line. Perfect. After that, duplicate like we did with the last thing, and uh, oh. Oh yeah, that's right, have an increase the size of this part. So, 51, 52. Nice. So now to make things easier, hide that. Boom, 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 boom. Select them all. Make them hollow. Bring the thing back. And group it. There we go. So now you have the bottom portion of the template done. Now... Now, the only thing you have left to do now is to actually do that, is to actually reduplicate that. Duplicate the four and then turn them and then raise them up just enough so that when you bring this back in, oops. Do that again, drop them back down to their level, and there we go. Let's see, you get this much room in between the spots, but that feels a little bit unsafe to me. I don't want to risk that. That looks like it might be a weak point, so I put them like this. So what I'm going to do now is to, wait, no, no, no. I'm going to select all of this and then unselect the main circle and then make all those holes. Reselect the circle and then group it all together so that it cuts the triangles into the circle, making it work. Now to test it. If this, if I have done this properly, it will, the triangles on the center, on the core, will be smaller than the ones on here. So this aligns properly. This looks like it fits very nicely. And the final verdict is... It has just a little bit of wiggle room, which I am very comfortable with right there. 
So that is how you make a reversible disk template. What all you have to do when changing the mode is just raise, turn, turn, and then drop. And then boom, you have your other side done. And that's literally it. So I will have this publicly posted on Tinkercad. And... There we go. I will have it publicly posted on Tinkercad, and I might post it on Thingiverse so anyone can use it.